Hey guys, so welcome back to the M&B channel. So today, I just want to recap of what um, had happened during my three-hour glucose. So basically, I did take the one hour. Um, that was a complete fail. Um, so I did take the three-hour glucose test, which was brutal, but um, I managed to get through it. I did get my results um, two days later, so I took it on, I believe, June 9, and then I got the result on the 11th of Friday. So um, I was scheduled to work um, a morning shift. Apparently, I was late. Um, I had the bad news that I have gestational diabetes. Um, I know a lot of women have it. Um, some people don't really pass on their first one. That's why they go on to the third one. Some of them pass. But unfortunately with me, because of my sugar levels, um, they weren't breaking down. Um, my body kind of absorbed it a lot. Um, it's, it's very surreal when it comes to it. Um, I've, I've had doubts already that I wouldn't pass it anyway. It just felt like something was not really right. Well, my doctor has diagnosed me at 26 weeks. So I'm 26 weeks and 6 days today. She wants me to be on a really strict diet. Um, she told me to eat protein, veggies, and fats. And I could have a little bit of starch, rice, but not too much. Um, because we want to keep that levels down. So she has told me that I have to be on a monitor four times a day. So this is the monitor that I have to use. I have the needle prickler, your reading device, and your blood stick. And then I also got these colorful handy dandy needles and some alcohol wipes so she has told me that because of my levels are high it can be due to just being pregnant and i think so that could be the trigger or it falls in my genes so um my dad has not gestational but he does have <clears throat> diabetes mom's side um there is diabetes the last thing I want to do is be on medication or on insulin. And, you know, I told myself that if I'm going to be do this prickling, I'd rather do it four times a day. My doctor recommended me to grab a book, um, any tablet, I guess. And she wrote down some notes here. So this is a note. So she told me fasting should be at least 90, less than 95 or at 95 um, after meals, so I have to test four times a day, fasting, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <clears throat> after every meal, she told me it, it don't matter, one hour, two hour. But in the one hour, I should be less than 140. If it's two hours, less than 120. So I'm hoping to be somewhere around that range. Her goal for me personally she wants me to be at least 60 to 110. Now, this could vary from doctor to doctor. It kind of just depends on what she wants you to be, I guess, be on. I made this little chart. I just folded the paper so that way I could draw lines. But I wrote fasting, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And 6.15, today is June 15. So I woke up at 6.24 a.m. I took my first fasting and my sugar level was at 81. So I'm trying to have faith <laughs> that it won't go any higher once I take my test again after breakfast. So breakfast, I had a half a banana, still have a glass of milk. I know that considers sugar too, but we're going to see if I have to eliminate that or kind of cut it down a little bit. I did have 
whole wheat bread, multigrain with some flower seeds and you know all those good stuff. And I did have put um, organic butter on top of it. And then I also had some avocado on top of it and poke the yolk so it could cook. And um, I added some bagel seasoning. So um, I feel full. I still feel hungry. So well, that's another thing too. You don't want to overeat. So I ate breakfast at 7.10. So 9, 10 here, Hawaii time, I'm going to be taking my second poke for breakfast to see my sugar levels. That is pretty much what has been happening. Doctor also put me on um, the monitor for heartbeat just to make sure that baby's heartbeat is okay. Um, when I did take it on Friday, she didn't really say that it was bad. She said it was really good. So that's a good thing. So baby moved and baby is fine. I do feel f movements here and there now because I'm 26, I'm almost 27 weeks. And um, it's a very, very beautiful feeling. Um, I cannot describe it. You like, it's just indescribable. And um, Mark, <laughs> he had a lot of fun feeling baby move. So um it's just one of those things where you just have to like you know be in that moment if you guys have any questions for me or you know if you are related to this topic gestational diabetes let me know what what you've gone through um maybe some recipes or something i don't know <laughs> anything and yeah that will be it you guys so hope you guys enjoy this video um again leave your comments your love and support and i will be back for another video i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys in my next one